Hi, my name is David Kay from Dynamic Chiropractic at Viaduct and at Remuera. This next video is about a just over 40 year old male who's got a multiple disc protrusions at his uh, at L4 and L5, as well as a spondylolisthesis. We're going to show you how he managed it, how the flexion distraction technique works, and from there I'm sure you'll um, you'll pick up some nice information from it. And if you need that help, then get in touch with us. Anyway, enjoy. So the first thing we're going to be doing is we're just going to be loading the client up onto the table. That's really important because they're quite often in a lot of discomfort. Uh, the fact that he could climb on himself was actually a real benefit in this instance. Uh, so next we're cupping the ankles. We're going to make sure we can brace them and then we're going to be stretching out that lower back. And here we go. We're starting, we've commenced the treatment and we're going to be just opening up those joints, working up each segment of the lumbar spine. We just keep moving up and down that part of the spine and we're gonna work the muscles on both sides. All the while we're checking in with the client, are you okay, are the symptoms getting worse? Is the problem getting worse? Now what we've done here, we've just cocked the table off to the left hand side and what this does, it opens up the joints well into that lumbar spine, particularly on the right. So again, we work up these joints and if there's a bulge in the disc that's off to the right hand side, what we call a paracentral disc bulge, what this does, it takes that bulge away from the nerve root. Um, the symptoms that were present only moments before can sometimes dissipate immediately when you're in this position, which is why somebody who's had a disc injury can really benefit from this. Now the next thing we do is we're moving on to the drop table, because what we want to do is decompress that disc even further. Um, we select the uh, either the pelvic section or the lumbar section or a combination of both. And here our objective is just simply to open up the joints into the lumbar spine and continue that decompression that we started on at the drop table. Once we've decompressed that, we're gonna move on to uh, a sideline adjustment. And with this, we managed to, I guess, utilize more than one technique to maximize it. So we've used these three techniques uh, to minimize the amount of compression on that disc, on the nerve root, and maximize the recovery for the patient. So we don't always get the best results, but we try our best. Um, it all just depends on how far advanced the, uh, the injury is. So there we go, we've just dropped into there um, to create that third leg of our treatment. So we finished the adjustment um, and what we did is we focused on trying to decompress the lumbar spine uh, using the flexion distraction table. Uh, so what we notice here, there's degeneration at multiple levels into the spine, uh, L2, L3, L4, L5 and L5S1. Let's highlight those and we'll show that there's a disc bulge between L2, L3. We've got quite a normal looking vertebrae at uh, L3, L4 but then we see because there's a fracture in the lower back, down there called a spondylolisthesis. We've got disc bulges at both L4, L5 and L5, S1. Uh, what we've noticed with um, just the first session that we had yesterday and now being a Thursday night, we've just done his second. Uh, we've noticed that there's a 60% improvement in the range of movement flexibility. Uh, he's pretty impressed with that because uh, he hasn't been able to sleep for the last seven days um, without excruciating discomfort. Uh, and the words were that he wished he was in a wheelchair um, rather than put up with what he had. So the fact he's up and walking around, I think we'll take that as a bit of a win.